Hello everyone. Here we have a BMVD 1431 Mark II bridge uh, with the pods removed and we're going to go over how to install the manual gain control uh, on the 1431 Mark II. So the easiest way to get gain control is to just use um, 10160 variable gain 3 pin tubes um, because if you, because what we do is, well, we use those tubes and we just get uh, the third pin installed where it's labeled P5, a short pogo connector that will make it so that uh, manual gain is just drop in. You plop the tubes in and you have manual gain. However, if you're going to use 11769 format pigtail tubes, you will require uh, some soldering. So the resistance values that you're going to get on the BNVD 1431 Mark II between these two terminals. Uh, it's usually going to be around 0, 0 to 180 kilo ohms uh, because the rheostat on the on a standard PVS14 board uh, goes from 0 to 174 kilo ohms or something like that. Um, however, some pigtails will have their own internal resistance. Um, I'm not sure what that would be on uh, ITT slash Elbit tubes or photonics. I think they don't have much internal resistance, so I think that you can just directly solder them to P2 and P3. Um, however, it would be best for you to take a multimeter and measure that internal resistance by, uh, short, by shorting the pin connectors and then measuring from the, the solder points on the tube. Um, with L3s, I found that, resistant, that additional resistance to be 80 kilo ohms. Uh, inside that pigtail. So it seems that L3 tubes operating uh, resistance range is around 80 to 254 kilo ohms. So in order to accommodate that, I had to solder a an 80 kilo ohm resistor specifically to P2. You can't solder it to P3 because you'll get a messed up ga uh, gain value. It has to be to P2. Um, and the other thing is uh, apparently L3 tubes operate at a different voltage than Elbit slash ITT and Photonis tubes. So um, on Elbit, ITT, or Photonis tubes, uh, you don't need to remove this resistor right here. But for L3 tubes, you just desolder that resistor. Um, and you, you don't need to bridge it after, you just remove it. So for an ITT, for sorry, for an L3 tube, you're gonna have a bridge that looks like this where I have the 80 kilo ohm resistor soldered here and this resistor here completely removed and obviously it's the same on both sides. To access the pigtail and unplug it, you have to peel off the uh, sticker on the tube and then you can just use a flathead screwdriver and pry the banana can connectors out from the tube, like so. The reason why my ribbon cable looks a little messed up is because I had already done the gain mod uh, in a different way previously. So what I had done was I snipped the ribbon cable and I used wires to hook it up to the 1431 board. Um, I found that to work fine, but obviously it ruins your pigtail. And I found it to be not as durable because the traces inside the ribbon cable are very thin. So if you pull on this a couple times, it may snap off on you. Um, so what I found to be a better method was to desolder the uh, banana connectors right here. You just uh, desolder this point and they come right off. And then what you can do is put your hookup wires straight into the banana connectors like so and you can plug these uh, into the tube itself. But make sure that you color your wires differently uh, because it does matter where you solder each wire to. For this tube, I have the white cable hooked up to the right side and the black cable hooked up to the left side. This here is what your final wiring configuration should look like. Pay extra attention to make sure that you've done it exactly as shown, because if you don't do it exactly as shown, you may have some issues, like maybe one pod has gain and while the other doesn't work. Um, maybe one pod is stuck at half brightness, or maybe they both work and they both gain down, but one is slightly lower than the other. So once you start adjusting it, one tube gets brighter than the other. Um, so if you experience any of those issues, just come back to this part of the video and make sure you've wired it up exactly as shown here. So to reiterate, we've removed the R2 resistor, which is what you need to do for the L3 tubes. And we've added an 80 kilo ohm resistor at P2. And it's a good idea to heat shrink that resistor. 
So in my installation, the black wire represents the wire connected to the left gain terminal in the tube, and the white wire represents the wire connected to the right gain terminal in the tube. On the right pod, you want the left wire soldered to that resistor, which is soldered to the P2 terminal, while the right wire goes straight to the P3 terminal. On your left pod, you're gonna have it reversed, where the right wire is the one that is connected to the resistor, which is connected to the P2 terminal, and the left wire is connected straight to the P3 terminal. So just make sure that you've done that uh, exactly as shown. Here I'm gonna demonstrate that the gain does in fact work, and that when installed properly, uh, the brightness is even between both sides. So I'm gonna turn it down, and then I'm gonna turn it back up. So that's how you hook up the manual gain on a L311769 format tube into a BNVD1431 Mark II. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if you run into any problems or you have any further questions, uh, please don't hesitate to send us a message. We'll try to help you out, and uh, thank you for watching.